Hello, welcome to the studio. Today I am looking afresh at some of the pieces, the collages that I made during my residency in Oldborough in Suffolk. Um, I only got halfway through them, um, they're definitely not finished. Uh, some of them are really quite large. Um, so I am having a real play. This is my first session back in the studio after quite a long time away over Christmas and New Year. And I am just going to play. I'm just going to see what happens. Um, so I've mixed some colours and I'm going to make some marks. And um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, if you're interested in what I do, then do subscribe to the channel. You can have a look at my website, ruthander.co.uk, or you can follow me on Instagram at ruthanderprints. So these are some of the collages that I'm going to work on. I'm actually having to hold my camera up really quite high here because these are really large. Um, I had one day during the residency that I just decided to, to kind of really go for it. And I collaged on these. Um, this is tissue paper with oil paint on, mono printed on collaged and so is this actually but just in a very much uh you know less textured way and the idea being that this half is kind of the the land and the beach and the top half is the sky very um you know basically um and i've done another one here as well so i've got some really nice texture going on here but not much else at the moment because the juxtaposition between the texture and the flat light colour at the top is what I like. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have one here as well, uh, very abstract, playing around with textures and colour. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do with this one too. So, so I'm, I'm going, to going to add some the, uh, kind of aqua um, duck egg I've got a roll of full of line that same colour this collage on. here. The roller here. Uh, so the first I'm thing I'm going to on. do, and hopefully I'm going and to get a nice it's ghost quite print textured. from it as well. I hope. It's so, going um, on in quite first a thing I'm going to do is just way. spread out That's some good. of this. I've pre-mixed this colour. Um, just check my roller is clean-ish. Oh, no, it needs a little bit of a clean. In theory, you should clean your rollers really well after every session. Thought I did here, but okay, that should do the trick. So I'm just going to roll out a fairly even layer of this kind of duck egg colour. So these pieces uh, were done in Albra in Suffolk. And um, at the moment, they're pretty abstract. They might stay quite abstract. Uh, so what I'm doing is just sort of picking up on the colours textures, forms, line um, that I found on the beach there. And the beach is rather lovely. It's Shingle Beach, hundreds, thousands, millions of pebbles. And then there's lots of fishing um, rubbish, detritus, uh, work stuff. Uh, and there's some really bright colours there. So there's some kind of fluorescent colours. There's this kind of colour is the fishing um, net colour as well. So I'm just kind of playing around with those colours really and I'm going to try and do on this collage some um, some kind of fishing line type lines. Um, I'm going to use the end of a knife to make, hopefully make it quite thin. In fact I might use the Sharp end of the knife. Right, okay, let's have a go. Let's see how that has done. Okay. So you can see the lines much better on um, the darker area here. And I think I'm going to do a little bit more of that. I like the fineness of the lines. I'm trying not to rip this paper as well. And the fishing line is just all over in a complete mess on the beach. <laughs> These piles of it. So um, that's why I'm going quite messy as well. There we go. So I like that. I like the feel of it, the movement, the colour. So I'm going to put that aside and 
So I've now got a roller full of ink, the same aqua ink uh, that I've just used. And I'm going to roll it straight onto this large collage here. And I'm getting quite textured marks here because the tissue paper is a little bit wrinkled. Uh, but I quite like that. I think it looks pretty good. And there we go. So I've mixed a kind of, um, I don't know, a sort of ochre colour, I suppose, here. Um, and actually what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to get a nice good roller full of it and just roll it onto well, at least one of these pieces. Um, this is actually a colour that, for me, symbolises Olga Beach. Uh, it is a shingle beach, so there's lots of pebbles, and there is a kind of um, ochre overall colour sometimes, especially when the sun shines to the beach. And it's a very different colour to what I'm used to here in the West Country. Very different, actually. Um, yeah, completely different. All right, now what I'm going to do here is um, just going to cover up that because this is so big. I don't, I'm going to have to put it over where I've rolled. Um, yeah, so it took me a long time to sort of figure out the kind of colours that I wanted to use. Now I'm going to roll this over some of the black here and I'm hoping that the black is still going to show through and the mark making is still going to show through. Um, okay, what's interesting here is, uh, and what I hadn't quite realised is that because this is tissue paper collaged onto paper, um, there are actually quite a lot of wrinkles in the tissue paper and every time I roll onto it the wrinkles are being picked up so it's not necessarily what I want all the time so I have to see if there's a way I can print without getting those wrinkles but I'm kind of liking that color especially with the kind of aqua green there So one way uh, that I can get that colour onto the picture without any wrinkles from the tissue paper actually is to just kind of be quite painterly about it. So I might actually just, um, you know, have uh, a mark here and I'm, I'm not going to roll it. I'm not going to thin it out. I'm just going to let it sit there. Um, and although it's quite a sort of relatively narrow mark it will give the piece uh you know just that that kind of that color really that overall color um, where do i want it that's the next thing do you know i think i'm going to turn it over because it's going to be easier to print on here let's try it here So even that hasn't actually produced quite as much colour as I thought it would. Um, although I do really like the movement and the mark of that, so what I might do is actually just put a bit more on. Um, let's do that again. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, okay, this is one of the things slight problems occasionally i've got a mark here that i really don't want by mistake i think that must be my finger or something yeah okay i'm gonna have to go over that with some white i think at some point to get rid of it so i'll have to leave it for the moment right let's try that again i'm just kind of guessing where i want it i'm not being too precise I'm using my baron here to press down. 
Um, because it's a piece of cartridge paper with collage on, it really does need quite a lot of pressure to get any kind of print from this. Okay, that's got quite a bit of colour on it now. And I'm really liking that colour as part of the piece as well. So what I'm doing here, uh, I'm just rolling out some yellow mixed with white. Um, and what I'm going to do is create some, I'm going to take some of it off to create some quite particular forms. I'm just measuring how much I need. That's about right. Um, so on Obra Beach, there are these kind of um, black rubber pathways, I suppose, down to the sea. And they are to allow the boats to get over the shingle, the fishing boats to get over the shingle on wheels. Um, but what I loved about them when I went there was that they catch the sun and you get these kind of um, bright trails of sunlight leading down to the sea when the light catches them. So I want to do a couple of those. It's not quite right. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of drawing it, I suppose. And then I'm going to put one here. So where I've drawn, I'm going to take the ink off where I've drawn. So I'm hoping that these are going to come out on this, um, this surface that I've got. I've got quite a lot of ink on there, so we shall see. And I'm going to try and put them on this one here. Now, I've just realised that this is going to be a little difficult because I've done them the right way up. And I'm going to have to bend my piece of paper, I think, to allow it to fit move my roller out the way and then I'm going to look I'm going to see if I can place my paper exactly where I want the print to be which can be a little difficult oh okay I hope that's about right okay let's give that a go Not bad actually. So they've come out quite well and they actually look quite like you know the the pathways on the beach. So I'm pleased with that. The, you can see the wrinkles and the crinkles of the tissue have come out but they they don't really affect the image as a whole. So although these are definitely nowhere near finished um, I'm quite pleased with the little bits of mark making and texture that I've managed to add to them. So I will be adding lots more layers to these as I go along and hopefully video them as well.